Okay, is eighth time a charm? All right, I just figured out that uh, my air wasn't on, and it was 80 degrees in here, and it's hot. I'm going to try and show you how to do the cable stitch, and I'm going to do it on two different pieces that I have here. Um, you would chain all the chains that you're going to chain, and then do row one and row two, which are just single crochets. When you're at the end of row two, you're going to do a single crochet, and you're going to turn. And this first row three is a little bit different than the rest of them until the pattern's established. You're going to um, do two single crochets, and then you're going to be ready for a front post double crochet. So you're going to do a wrap your yarn around um, your hook like you would a double crochet, but instead of doing it in this hole, we're going to go down to row one, and we're going to go through this hole, go through the back, and come back up of row one, bring a loop up, and then we're going to finish our single our double crochet. Now <clears throat> we're going to skip a single crochet or a hole, which would be the back of this, and then we're going to do two double crochet, or I'm sorry, two single crochet. And now our pattern says to do four front post double crochets. So again, instead of doing it in this hole, we're going to skip down to row one and bring our yarn through the front to the back. And then we're going to wrap our yarn around and we're going to, instead of going through this hole, we're going to come back through row one, go through that hole, come up, bring our yarn up, well, bring our yarn up and finish our double crochet. Wrap our yarn around. Instead of going through that hole, we're going to come back down to row one. And then we're going to do that one more time. Instead of that hole, we're going to come down to row one. And then we would do two double crochet, or just, I'm sorry, two single crochet, and then a front post double crochet, and then four again. That's the only difference on the first um, row three. Then once your uh, your pattern is established, you don't have to come down <clears throat> to that row anymore. All right, I have done one full pattern repeat, and then I've done row three, and then I've done a row of single crochets for row four. And when we come to the end, we're going to single crochet, and then we're going to do two. I'm sorry, we chained one and then do two single crochets. Then we're going to do a front post double crochet around the post that we did in the previous row. Then we're going to do two single crochets. Now, this is row five. So on row five, you're going to skip these first two front post double crochets. And we're going to do a front post double crochet around row three, or I'm sorry, around post three and around post four. Now we're going to do a front post double crochet back in those first two that we missed. So in the first one, and then in the second one. Then we're going to do two single crochets, front post double crochet, then two single crochets. Now we're to our four again, and we're going to skip the first two, do a front post double crochet around the third one and the fourth one, and then we're going to come back to the first one and the second one. And this gives you your cable. Now we're going to go single crochet, single crochet, front post double crochet in the previous one, and then two single crochets. That was row five. So now row six, which is an even row, we're going to go just single crochets all the way back. And <clears throat> you need to count your single crochets to make sure that you haven't missed any and when you get to those front post double crochet, or single crochets, 
front post double crochets. You're going to single crochet in those and you'll notice you'll have, when you're done, you're going to have all these little flaps in the back, on the back side of your work because you're single crocheting in those front posts instead of the single crochets from the previous row. So just keep single crocheting all the way across, making sure that you have the right number of single crochets that you need. So that was row five and row six. The end is always a little hard. Okay, single uh, chain one. Now we're going to do two single crochets. This is row seven, front post double crochet in the last one. Then we're going to do two single crochets. Now when we come to our four double crochet, uh, front post double crochets, you have two that are kind of in the back and then two in the front. So you have to do, you're going to do your front post double crochet around the first one that are kind of in the back and then the second one that's kind of in the back and then you do one in this one which is in the front. Oops, sorry. I'm standing around the camera because I kept blocking it and uh, I did this video so many times two single crochets, then a front post double crochet, then we're going to do two single crochets, and then again we're to our four, and there's two kind of hiding in the back, so we need to do our front post double crochets around those first, one, and the second one is a little bit harder to find, and then around the two that are in the front. One and two. And this piece is really stiff. Um, I said in my blog that this is a pretty heavy afghan, and it is. It This is an eye hook, and I thought maybe using an eye hook instead of the H hook would, um, it wouldn't be quite so heavy, but it's still pretty heavy. Okay, then we do two single crochets and then a front post double crochet and two single crochets in the end. All right, now we're back to row eight and we would do single crochet and then do nine and 10, then three and four, and then five is where we skip the first two and do the second two. And this is not quite two full repeats, and you can see how it looks like it's twisting as it goes up. All right, I hope this is helpful.